Grand-rising, my friends. Welcome to the most beautiful subscribers in several known dimensions in the multiverse. Now, hopefully, everybody, I don't want to spoil any movies that may have involved multiversal characters recently, but now you see, huh? Huh? Yeah? If you're new here, pull up a chair, you know, get relaxed. Well, maybe you'd be busy and working and just sit and listen and hopefully learn something new. Um, me and one story here, my mind is still completely boggled. Okay, let's get started with that. None of this is at every point financial advice or uh, <laughs> pretend like I bought the cameras. Um, medical advice or comedic advice, definitely not. Um, advice about matters of the heart or matters of arts. I'm not gonna rhyme the last one. That would be infantile. I butcher words, I butcher concepts, I butcher things. Um, except I cook well. I prepare food well. Uh, the yeah, let's go with it. Up. Is the crypto market, which is down, which is not good. Kind of an oxymoron in that sense. But, you know, it, last year it was uh, half the size. So things are relative. So things, uh, Bitcoin at 47,189. Ethereum at 3,731. Binance at 515. Solana, 173. Cardano, $1.35. Oh, Cardano up slightly. That ain't the worst for them. Because Cardano has kind of been not doing well. But it's starting to get some of its decentralized exchanges off and running, which, you know, Cardano is going gonna, is gonna to boom hard. But none of this, remember. At the end of the day, <clears throat> you take whatever you want to do, whatever advice, quite honestly. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, don't blame me because I told you, hey, do what you like. XRP at 83 cents, Terra $85, Polkadot $27.45, Avalanche at 101.61, Dogecoin at 17 cents, Shiba Inu at four zeros. 3405 Polygon, $2.55. We will not go through the entire list of 16,000. 16, <sighs> you remember when that was like, you know, less than 2,000? Can't remember how many it was when I first got it, but it was a lot. 16,000, that, 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 that's a bit of a shock. Market cap at 2.2. Trillion dollars stock market futures look down for tomorrow, um, slightly for the SP Dow and the NASDAQ today. Um, Neil looked like he did pretty well, up 14 percent. Can't be mad at them for that. SoFi was up today, okay. What are these futures? These maybe not 100 percent, but you know what? I think, yeah, I think. Going into New Year, you're going to see a lot of things pop. I think a lot of people sell to get, uh, incur losses near the end of the year, and then when the New Year begin, try to try to gain and get all these profits as much as possible. So next week, you're going to start seeing probably the market go uh, nuts in, in cryptocurrencies and um, the traditional stock financial markets. We'll just jump into kind of stories that might could keep you too long. But here before that, we hear about that positivity on this channel and that positivity being if there's someone in your life who has embedded a sense of becoming exceptional, you know, look deep within yourself and say, how do I uh display my appreciation for this person who has meant so much to me you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna type something in the comment section of this video and then i'm gonna forward them that video so that they can see i wrote something 
nice about them for all eternity. Wouldn't that be nice? You know what I'm saying? I know, I know you. Uh, <laughs> I'm horrible about personal life. I was gonna say, I know you bums didn't get nobody anything for Christmas, so. Uh, but you're not bums. Oh, no, some of you. I may look, look, looking at me now, look like a bum, some would say. Jumping into it, Tesla's gigacasting strategy to be adopted by half a dozen other car makers. Six of them are in, well, some are, they said six in China, so now is, this the, is that the half a dozen? He's working with six Chinese automakers to deploy similar casting technology as soon as next year. Oh, I thought he was talking about Americans. Huh. So if you don't know, Tesla has gone from, you know, kind of a traditional way of stamping out all these parts of machines and, and um, welding them together or some way to just finding a way to inject a, 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 a hot metal into a, a like almost like a, a big giant. A toy car so they can inject a metal into it and just cast it toy they just zoop, like a big mold of the fronts and backs and put them together and now are these other car companies you know can go from like it shows here all these different colors are the different parts that is now just one big part that the, is the is the rear piece and they have i don't know to show it here they have the front piece as well Similar where they have it in one piece and they can do it super fast. So now they cut down where I read a little bit of it. Tesla's approach to using giant casting machines nicknamed Gigapress to make car bodies with just a few massive cast parts is catching on in the auto industry. A Tesla supplier says that it is working with about a half a dozen other car makers. I'm missing. I'm thinking ahead. Automakers taking the same approach. Over the last few years, Tesla has been heavily investing in casting and alloy technology to enable larger cast parts that have the capability to greatly simplify manufacturing. The company acquired several units of the biggest casting machines in the world. They have been deployed at Tesla factories in the U.S., Berlin, and China. Has already been producing a Model Y with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. So it's, it saves money, safer, makes the car lighter, more efficient. You know, so it was a great idea. Now, some people say it's disadvantaged. They think it's critical, says it's associated with potential repair in the event of an accident. I haven't heard of what the problem would be in that, I have, you know, um, I'll do some more research, see what the how that would be more of a problem than the way that it was designed before with all the different pieces. It seemed like you would just still have to, you know, pound out or work out that whatever part that was. Or just replace the entire uh, that part, uh, that that back. <clears throat> You know, but, you know, don't know how difficult either either one of the processes would be. So, in other words, they're just saying people are now biting Tesla style in terms of their giga press, which, you know, come to expect it when you have something dope over time. People, you know, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And I mean, it is what it is. Now, this is the one I'm like, look, I'm trying to wrap my head around this and I just. Time crystals are created in Google's quantum processor. Time crystals sound like something a video game character would be trying to collect. But this bizarre phase of matter is very real. And now one of them has been created in Google's quantum processor, Sycamore. Regular crystals are characterized by a highly ordered structure of atoms in a repeating pattern. So if those atoms repeat through space, could other crystals exist with the pattern that repeats through Space and time instead. I've been doing some other reading to space and time. And what might that look like? In 2012, talks about Frank Wilczek. I may be butchering that. I think I mentioned earlier, I butchered a lot of words and stuff. Hypothesized that these so-called time crystals could exist. And by 2016, that they have been experimentally created in a lab. Later studies found them in a children's crystal growing kit. So they occur naturally in nature as well, obviously. So what is a time crystal? I'm trying to understand this in a way that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe 
<laughs> it's about the the okay. Is Adams in a in a pattern, a LASIK pattern, like a crystalline pattern? So it looks like a crystal in time and in space as well, but it also has a motion that does not that a motion that I don't want to say does not that motion that conserves energy or does not use energy. So as opposed to most systems, anytime it like if I moved, I use energy and I burn off, you know, you're going to have either heat or, you know, something that we may not see. And it may be minute, 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 but it's something that comes off. It may, it's some, it may be something tiny, but, it, it, you know, something happens. These crystals have a periodic motion. It's almost like a pulse, like a do do do, a frequency that is not energy intensive or or has energy any energy expense if that makes sense i mean look it's hard for me to understand it. so simple way is it's almost like a crystalline structure that has a time signature that doesn't that can go forever so okay who cares right you know all right so this exists what does this help in this will, they think, maybe part of will will help build the quantum computers to be able to be the memory of it. So you'll be able to have these structures because what I heard about quantum computer years ago, and I haven't seen anybody repeat it. And this, I think I even saw the guy from D-Wave who was like the first people making quantum computers um, for for Google was like, hey, it's like they're tapping into other dimensions. These computers are tapping into other dimensions. And are able to process all together in these other dimensions to solve problems, you know, in whatever dimension is asking for that question. <laughs> like, I, I don't create this stuff. I'm just telling you what I read and seen with my eyes from the people who are creating these things. They're getting paid a bunch of money. As I said, it's not what you believe is necessary. It's people with a bunch of money believe that can impact your life in ways that you can't imagine. So these time crystals appear to be, I guess, like a, yeah. So imagine, you know, we have ordinary memory now that's static uh, in time, in space, you know, can be destroyed. But these time crystals are able to kind of, period. I don't understand way too, I'm, I'm trying to understand it. Atoms uh, exhibit motion in a pattern that repeats periodically. So, for example, there's spins flip up and down in a predictable ticking motion. But where it gets weird is that this rhythm doesn't follow the frequency of the force that kicked it off. And in a perfect system, the atoms will keep on ticking forever without any further input. So, so where does bowl of gelatin? If you tap it, it we expect to jiggle for a few seconds and stop until you tap it again. Except with this one, will alternate between jiggling and not jiggling after just two taps. That's what a time crystal does. So, it, it you know, almost in the sense of what we want with our power. And I think we have a, a story in a day or two where we've been able to create that for the first time, where we were able to create a system and a fusion system that produced more power than was put into it. These, you know, when you get a time crystal has its own, it, almost like not quite perpetual motion, which is most people, like I said, it may sound like a paradox that edge is a bit too close to the perpetual motion, but it doesn't break the laws of thermodynamics. Energy is conserved in the system as a whole and entropy, a measure of disorder, doesn't decrease but stays constant. It's crazy. But, you know, it's a lot of fancy things that to say that it's really smart people doing things. <laughs> And if you have trouble like me going through that, then just be like, sometimes you just got to trust that it's smarter people build stuff that maybe help us in the future. Goldman Sachs say the metaverse must run on blockchain and heralds crypto tech as a huge disruptor. So Goldman Sachs has said blockchain technology must be at the heart of the metaverse because it is securely helps individuals securely own their assets and transfer them across virtual worlds. And they're just saying that, you know, they're not exactly sure of what that's going to look like specifically, but they understand that the crypto technology will be at the heart of what will come next and that the metaverse is going to be huge. The analysts added with regard to the metaverse, blockchain is the only technology we see that can be uni uniquely identified, that can uniquely identify any virtual object independent of a central authority. 
This ability to identify objects and then track ownership will be critical to the functioning of the metaverse wherever it finally materializes. There's going to be artificial intelligence. I'm looking at some now um, personally that, you know, see how it would pan out before, you know, I don't like to just be throwing random things out there when I'm not 100% on yet. Or, you know, put, put, put some effort into, super effort into the research to feel somewhat close with, never 100% on anything. Um, the artificial intelligence got to use money to talk to each other and, and that you won't even deal with. You'll have, you have probably an entourage of artificial intelligence that in your daily life that will interact with the artificial intelligence of all the other places and people you come across. So... That's what we need to be invested in to get that to get that long term skrilla rilla. For rilla rilla. So, you know, hey, we, we all block this. Now, you know, the end of the year and the joke earlier, like, you know, look where Bitcoin at. Bitcoin always declared dead. Is the number's actually about forty five. I looked a little bit earlier. This is a little bit beyond. Not the article was written was right, but I'm article I pulled this up a while back. It's 45 times. Bitcoin declared dead 45 times this year. Three times as many as the entire 2020. Bitcoin in a broader cryptocurrency market witnessed significant volatility as of late. Blah, 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 blah. In other words, Bitcoin is going to be declared dead all the time. And guess what? It ain't going nowhere. You know, the undying. Bitcoin's got to get some names like Khaleesi, you know, um, the long chain, the unbroken chain, the uh, the undying. Satoshi's baby. <laughs> uh, mother, mother of mother of zik coins. <laughs> With that, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.